زن زندگی آزادی Woman, life, freedom, charter of the minimum demands of Iran's independent trade unions and civic organizations. Number one, the immediate and unconditional freedom of all political prisoners. The decriminalization of political, labor, and civic activism, and public prosecution of those who ordered and those who carried out the repression of grassroots protests. Unconditional freedom of belief, expression, and thought, freedom of the press, political parties, and local and national labor and grassroots groups. Freedom to organize, strike, and demonstration, and freedom of social media, as well as audio-visual media. Number three, an immediate end to the handing down and carrying out of sentences of death, execution, and retribution, and banning all forms of psychological and physical torture. Number four, the immediate declaration of full equality between women and men in all political, economic, social, cultural, and family respects. The unconditional abolition of laws and forms of discrimination based on gender and sexual orientations and identity. Official recognition of the LGBTQIA plus community. Decriminalization of all sexual orientations and identities. An unconditional adherence to women's rights to make decisions about their own bodies and affairs. And the prevention of acts of patriarchal control. Number five, religion is a private matter for individuals and must not play a role in the country's political, economic, social, and cultural destinies and laws. Number six, ensuring safe working conditions, secure employment, and immediate wage increases for workers, teachers, employees, and all active and retired workers with the presence, involvement, and agreement of representatives chosen by their independent nationwide organizations. Number seven, the abolition of laws of all treatment, the abolition of laws and all treatment based on discrimination and oppression along national and religious lines and the creation of appropriate infrastructure to support the just and equal distribution of state resources for cultural and artistic growth in all parts of the country in addition to the creation of necessary and equal facilities for teaching and learning all of the languages present in Iranian society. The dissolution of organs of repression 
limitation of the powers of government and the continuous and direct involvement of the people in the handling of the nation's affairs through local and national councils, the right to dismiss holders of all governmental and non-governmental offices at any time must be a basic right of electors. Number nine, confiscation of the assets of the natural and legal persons and state, parastatal and private institutions which have pillaged the shared, the shared assets and wealth of the people of Iran either directly or through state rentierism. The proceeds of these confiscations must immediately go towards the modernization and reconstruction of the educational system, pension funds, the environment, and those areas and segments of the Iranian of the Iranian public deprived and marginalized under the Islamic Republic and the regime of monarchy. And number 10, an end to environmental degradation, the implementation of decisive policies to revive environmental assets damaged over the past century and the restitution to the public of all natural areas, including fields, beaches, forests, and foothills, whose privatization deprived the public of their rights to them. The banning, number 11, the banning of child labor and guarantees for the livelihoods and education of children, regardless of their family's economic and social status. The creation of universal welfare through robust unemployment insurance and social security for all working adults and those unable to work. Free education and health care for all people. And number 12, the normalization of foreign relations at the highest levels with all countries worldwide on the basis of mutual respect and equitable relations, banning the acquisition of nuclear weapons and a striving for global peace. In our view, these minimum demands can be immediately achieved with Iran's current and potential underground resources, its continuous and conscious capable people and a generation of youth and teenagers highly motivated to enjoy free, happy, and prosperous lives. The demands, the demands set out in this charter represent the main themes of our demands. The signatories to this charter, and we will address them in more detail as we continue our struggle and solidarity. Bowman Life Freedom. Yeah.